right, interactive questions are now live in YouTube for Google Classroom. So what does this mean? It means that you can go to Google Classroom right now and create an assignment using YouTube videos, but you could actually stop it at certain points for the students to answer questions and turn in their answers. Let's take a look at how we can set one up. All right, so I'm going to bypass creating an assignment pretty darn quick to get you to the spot where I'm talking about. So uh, here I go to classwork, I create assignment, and then here I'd press that. You would fill out the information that you have here and press the YouTube button. To save time, I'm going to open up one of my drafts I already have created, which I just did that. I am going to edit that assignment. So I filled out some information for today, and I'm going to press that YouTube button. Sweet. Now here I could search for a video if I'm looking for it or put a URL in here as well. That will work just fine. But I already created one to save time so I'm going to go to my video activities and here we'll show all the assignments I started creating but I didn't finish so that's also a tip to learn so here I'll just click on the one I am working on it is going to display the video here so you could you know plus play really? pause it fast forward get to certain sections of this video and at a certain point you could actually press add and add a multiple choice, a checkbox, an open ended question at certain segments. Uh, for the sake of time, I could show you that I've done a few already. So I said, what is a URL? Because it talks about that in this video. And I added the question, I gave uh, a few responses, and I selected which one was right, and I hit save and continue. I also stopped at a certain point as well, which is this article is trustworthy with out a line or uh, without a byline or a, a date and I put true as well so this is actually true that's like false so I hit false and save and continue and then and if I am done I could go into anything that I started working on and say oh, this is kind of garbage I could delete that out of there yep bye and I have a two I have two questions but you could add as many questions you like throughout this process now once and if you want to see what it looks like from a student perspective so my first one is at 18 seconds I can hit try as a student and then here I get play Knowing and it'll get to that certain cost, point. Let me see if I can fast forward to it. Is a one of a kind address for every web page. Boom, look at that. And in 18 seconds it stops and I can add this question, hit submit, and then I, oh great, that's awesome. And then I can continue on as a student so I can keep on playing and going Always through it. So this is really good at, at, to informally assess your students throughout this or to check for understanding with the video. So I just wanted to be able to share that. And last but not least, as it, so I'm showing, viewing it as a student perspective, but if I'm finished and I want to attach it, I just press the attach button. And then here it automatically is going to place it so I can assign this to my class and then everybody should receive it and do this uh, YouTube uh, question assignment. So check it out. It is pretty awesome. I think you would really enjoy utilizing it in your classrooms.